We are on our way to the federal building to meet with Senator Ted Cruz's office. It's 9 a.m. We're in Austin, Texas, and this is the Hemp Road Trip. Um, we're here at the Texas State Capitol in Austin, Texas with Coleman Hemphill. Coleman has been such an amazing advocate. He won the 2015 Hemp Industries uh, Association Activism Award. He is such a leader um, as an activist. His level of professionalism, his knowledge with how the state capitol works, he's here all the time. So I've been involved in the Texas legislature with the industrial hemp issue really since about 2015. This year we've been focused really on getting a lot of institutional support from different universities. Uh, we have letters of intent from Texas Tech University, the University of North Texas, the University of Houston. We actually are going to be meeting with Texas A&M today. Um, this year we have House Bill 3587, which has been referred to the House Agriculture and Livestock Committee. And we're hoping to have a committee hearing on that soon. Today, we were able to meet with Senator Ted Cruz's office. I think they're very supportive. Um, we've had a lot of great conversations with their offices in, in D.C. They're just really talking about where this legislation stands at the federal level and that um, we really need to declassify industrial hemp from being a controlled substance to really allow our farmers to, to begin moving forward. Um, we've also reached out to uh, companies like Patagonia. Uh, we also have a letter of intent from Fresh Hemp Foods, uh, which is the parent company of Manitoba Harvest that you'll find in Costco and Whole Foods. 